this is your third place match. Taking place on mat one. We have Cole Schulk from Columbia. Nathan Parks from Seneca East. his base reaches back. Gets conventional wisdom. Did get him a little bit uh, high there. He's got his hip on the mat. A minute to work with and he's gonna get two from the reach back. Alright. Alright, so now Parks is on top. He's working that half. He's gotta get out to the side. the side if he wants it. He's, oh, one swipe. Three. Three parts is going there for the ball. And Seneca East has a third place 106 winner. And that is Nathan Parks. Next up, 113. We got Lane and Duncan from Chalker. And he's wrestling Ashton Holman from Monroeville. Landon Duncan is Chalker's first ever. All right, next up at 113. We've got Landon Duncan from Chalker, Ashton Holman from Monroeville. Landon Duncan is Chalker's first ever state qualifier, and regardless of the outcome of this match, will be their first placer. Ashton Holman's from Monroeville. And we're off, folks. Duncan in the old with the white and orange thing, like Holman with the white, gray, and black. The Monroeville Eagles. Duncan in on a shot. Nothing yet. He works up, he gets his two. Duncan's got to get a mat return here. Alright, Holman gets one. It's two to one. The scoreboard doesn't reflect that right now. Duncan goes to the slide by. He quite did it. 15 seconds left in the first period. Two to one, favor of Green, which is, Chalk, which is Duncan from Chalker. 
Scoreboard still isn't correct, but they'll figure that out in between periods. Okay, now it's right. Two to one, second period. We'll go to the coin toss. Comes up green. That's Duncan. He's going to defer. Coleman's going to have a decision here to go down. Duncan thinking about cutting him, but then thinks better of it. Duncan on top home in here. He's got a wrist. He's got a handle. Trying to dig in an arm bar. Got to get behind the elbows there. Home to his feet. Clayton hands. He gets his one. It's two to two. We're all square. This is 113 for third place in Division Three, the state of Ohio. Just a reminder, all these matches are brought to you by Barbarian Apparel, Conquer the Impossible, and Defense Soap. Defend with you both. Duncan in on a shot, swing single. Shin loser by Holman. Duncan's elevating, elevating. Now they're in a waterfall position. Trying to cut through. Duncan swimming. Holman locked around the waist. Holman looking for the stalemate here. We're getting pretty close to that. Yes, in the official signal stalemate. 53 seconds left. We're still on feet. All tied up. Two to two. That's the moment from the logo and Landon Duncan from Chalker. 113 pounds. Position with 32 seconds left to see if someone can score here. Holman's got to get under himself. Extended. Yeah, mate. 16 seconds left to go. 2-2, two two, second period. Tight match. Mostly contested. Duncan getting heavy on the head. The throw by didn't quite work. Looks like we're gonna go into the third period, not it up at two apiece. Yes, and that's the case. Duncan's gonna go down, which is what conventional wisdom would tell us. So Duncan on bottom, one announced third period, tied up two to two. No first move. Duncan's fighting hands. Coleman's got a wrist. Coming it across. Blocking the knee there. Wisely. Claw right now. Duncan catches the boot. Coleman gets back into better position. Duncan's still working on that boot. Got it. You don't want to pull it into you, you want to push it away. And Holman transitions into an armbar. Uh oh. Got the armbar. It's in there. His third win on the seventh place in that position. He's not going to move forward a little bit. You might want to readjust. Thank you, Duncan. Uh, Parker. And Ashley Parker. Five to three. Favor of red. That's Ashley Holman. 
from Monroe. Tony Duncan's got to move here. Got 15 seconds. Wrestler in the Stable Howard Division 3, Ashton Holman. <laughs> Moving right along. Now we're at 120 pounds. We've got Will Davidson from Kirkland, and he's facing Logan Atasano from Legacy Christian. Legacy Christian's currently sitting in first place in the team race here, so any W's for them would help maybe bring home that team title. Fingers, fingers. Davidson from Kirtland is in the navy in the yellow. Logan Adesano in the black with Legacy on the back in the Barbarian Apparel single. Barbarian Apparel conquer the impossible defense soap. These matches are all brought to you by Barbarian Apparel and defense soap defender to have built defense soap. We're on the edge here. Official saying work to the center. Right, we switch positions here with Adesano back facing the center. Ten seconds left in the first period here. Scoreless. No, that was close, but no. Second period. Scoreless. Zero zero. Yeah, Davidson from Kirtland. Adesano from Legacy Christian. Tries for the dump, does Adesano, doesn't get it. 
Not for lack of effort, though. Four seconds left. And that's it, 1-0 going into the third. A long point on the board for an escape. How's Davidson's chance to reciprocate? Two minutes left. In this 120, 120 pound third place match between Will Davidson of Kirkland and Logan Adesano of Legacy Christian. Adesano's riding, got a boot in. Securing it with the right leg. Oh my, getting the wheel. Let's see what happens here. Davidson needs to try to shake him off. Adesano seems really comfortable here. 27 left on the clock. Adesano goes cradle. Davidson's coaches are telling him, get to your feet. Seems like sound advice to me. Asano with that claw ride, sucks him into him. Power half now. Getting a little high. A little high there. A little high. Davidson's two feet now. Asano drops down to a leg. That crack down position. Davidson blocking him in the crotch. Coming cross face. Stalemate. 47 seconds left, third period, one to zero match in favor of Adesano. Adesano pulls it back into his pocket again. the leg in. Davidson's to his feet. Potentially dangerous. Get the leg in. No contact on the mat. All right, they reset. 39 seconds left. Third place match. 120 pounds. Davidson sits, he didn't clear his arm though. And so now Adesano is putting him in the time bar. Oh, Davidson needs to push away. He needs to push away. Get up, get up. Get up, get up, knees. This is where a lot of folks cross base. You want to do that, it sucks him right into you. So Adesano's going to get hit for Stalin with 16 seconds left. He did not work to advance his position there. 16 seconds left. Davidson down 1 0. He's on bottom. Adesano on top. He covers. He's going to get a caution. That was a little bit harder than that. All right. Again, grab ride. Claw. Claw, deep waist. Adesano. Hanging on for dear life, Davidson! It's a reversal with four seconds left in the match! Davidson wins the match for the last second reversal, two to one! He is pumped! He is pumped! Great match! Great match! My name is Ford at 57, the man for a trip at 48. That brings us to 126. We've got Caleb Edwards in Rootstown, and he's facing Hayden Coon from Crestview. Ashley Crestview. Edwards is going to be in the all-white. And in the gray and white, it's going to be Hayden Coon from Crestview. Taking ground. Coon nice yeah. wants to get back in the center. Circles left. We're 30 seconds into the first period here. It's heavy on the head there, a couple snaps, club. Yeah. 
points of the match, so that's one for Kuhn with a red anklet. Mash can press you. And he then takes a low single shot. Low single. Shallow wizard by Edwards. Shallow shin wizard. Let's see what happens here, folks. Kuhn's trying to work on the spin. He's got to get that elbow to the mat and work to his right. Stalemate, we're back up on our feet. 57 seconds left. Second period, scores one to zero in favor of Kuhn from Ashton Crushy, who Edwards pulls the line. Look, Kuhn wants to work from space. Edwards wants to be in there heavy on the head. It's just my observations. Edwards taking some ground again in circles. Low single attempt again by Kuhn. Nothing happened again. Right. Time for some short offense. 20 seconds left. Kuhn's back up to his feet. Edwards tries to break away and they're gonna, oh, they're on the edge of the mat. 10 seconds left. Kuhn. Period. Third period, one to zero in favor of two from Ashton Crestier. Edwards choice. He's gonna go down. Austin Edwards got a little bit of an early start there. for a cross wrist. Arm chop there, trying to get him flat. Edwards is need sliding up. Who's got a little bounce going? Edwards gets set on bottom. Edwards thinks short sit. Instead gets to his feet. Who drops to an ankle? Shin wizard. Who's trying to climb up a little bit higher? Goon, we're gonna pop that head out. Go around the waist there. He's still in control here. There he goes, he climbs up the body. One to zero with one minute left in the third and final period here. Go, Caleb! Hayden Coon, the Baxter Press, who leading by one point. Grabs a cross 
wrist. Look, she took there for a second. Alright, that's Coon's first warning for stalling. Comes with 24 seconds left in the third period. Edwards looks a little sick. Good, uh, he hurt his ankle in his last match. Twenty-four seconds left. Thirty. It's another caution on Green. It's an early start. That's two. Eighty-two. Up one to zero with twenty-four seconds. With Caleb Edwards a reach down. Tries the Granby. Green follows. Drops to the ankle. Edwards has got thirteen seconds to go. Six seconds away from the third place medal here at 126 pounds. Six seconds left. Edward sits. Coon climbs up the body. And Aiden Coon of Ashley Crusher is going to be your third placer at 126 pounds in Division Three with the Ohio State Wrestling Tournament. Brings us to 132 pounds. We got Mike Pritgirl from Rootstown. I know I didn't say that right. And Hunter Long of Wayne Trace. Pritgirl out there with some fancy footwork. Clubs, clubs. two-on-one pre doesn't like that. He gets out of it. Get a little bit closer to the center here. Long likes that two-on-one there. Let's see what he's going to do with the uh, rushing. And that's the first period. Go with Second period, green straight. Says, let's go neutral. Long with the shot. Nothing there. He recovers. Free throw on the top there. Goes for the shot. Around the edge. On the edge here. He's gonna go out of bounds. Back in the center with a minute 29 left on the clock. Second period. something there. Inside trip! Oh! Free throw! Gets the inside trip. 
no backs. But that was beautiful. It was dirty going for the stack. He just took it to another gear there. That was filthy. Get my defensive wipes out. Oh, he's got the. Oh, fell off the side. All right, Long gets to his feet. That's going to even it up at 3 to 3. Second period full of action. Let's see what the third one's got for us. Long gets set. Blue girl says, nah, let's go to our feet. I'm feeling myself there. Four to three now for Long.
Now Vanderhorst takes a shot of his own. Here's Taylor now, gets a leg. Gonna take it up to his feet, shelf it. So two takedown, three near fall, 5-0, and got a little bit of blood. So now we go to blood time. So here's Taylor with the leg, went to the cradle, stand-up cradle, takes it to the mat, and jumps ahead to a 5-0 lead. And now they clean up a little blood, which reminds me, these matches are brought to you by Defense Soap, Defend What You Have Built, and Barbarian Apparel, Top of the Impossible. Looks like a bloody lip. The major will get that cleaned up. because they stopped the bleeding, now it's just cleanup time, which they don't keep track of. We'll be starting back up here shortly. Again, we've got a score of five to zero. Thanks to Pierce Taylor's sweet transition to that crazy Very short time, and we're getting a full lock in the back points, which brings us to five. And they restarted the blood time again. Seven seconds left in the second period. Score is five to zero in favor of Bruce Taylor. This is a quick uh, trip to the garbage can and back to the center. Moving his feet is Pierce Taylor. Pierce Taylor. 
first strike. Oh. Oh. Ten seconds left in the second period. Score still five to one in favor of Pierce Taylor. We're gonna go to the third period now. Taylor's choice. He's gonna go down. He's got really good balance here. Yeah. All right, Taylor's going to give you a spin. That brings the score to six to one in favor of Taylor. Let's see the scoreboard on the back end. And it is six seconds left in the third period here. Nice shot by Vanderhorst. This is where he needs to finish, though. He's stretched out. He needs to get his base on the rim here. on the ankle. I don't think we're too far from the stalemate and there it comes. Minute and 14 seconds. Oh, yeah. okay. Minute 14 seconds, yeah. That's on the clock. Six to one in favor of Pierce Taylor. From Nick Nichols. Nick Nicholas. I that's Bishop Nick Nicholas. Position we found ourselves several times. Stalemate, 50 seconds, 50 seconds, it's a six to one match, five point match. Beat the back here, can even it up. Maybe even end it, who knows. Seen some crazy things this weekend at the state tournament. Seconds left. Limp, limp arms out, back into a wizard here. Five seconds left. And we're going to end with a six to one score for Pierce Taylor from Bishop Nicholas. He's your third place winner of 138 pounds in Division Three at the Ohio State Wrestling Tournament. Brings us to 145 pounds where we have Hunter Andell from Garfield and Storm Stanley of Waynedale. Storm Stanley of Waynedale is going to be in the brown and yellow singlet. Hunter Andell is going to be in the black and yellow singlet. Andell will be red. Stanley will be green. And we're getting up a little bit of blood before we get going here. Storm Stanley of Wayndale, Wayndale in the brown and yellow. Wayndale in the black and yellow. First period. Seconds and passed in the first period. Both of us are feeling each other out. Just shot attempts in the last one's yet. Scoreless. That's a friend so far. 
a good time to remind you that all these matches are brought to you by Defense Silk, Defender Tour Book, and Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible. Seeing all kinds of Barbarian singlets, a couple two pieces this weekend. We love to see it. If you guys are looking for new apparel, you need to give Josh Sasky a call down in the Cincinnati area to get your team looking nice in that Barbarian Apparel.
as I gotta convene here, I'm gonna hold my ball here. Two for Hurts for Kingsford, and I feel like that's the right call. Point comes up green. Ryan Smith says, I'll go down, bottom piece.
160 pounds. Third place match, Donovan Palmer, Luther West, versus Dalton Duvall from Rootstown. Palmer's gonna be in the white singlet with the black on the sides, red trim. Rootstown, that's Don, uh, Dalton Duvall from Rootstown. He's in the gray and blue, royal blue singlet. He's wearing the green ankle band. Donovan Palmer from Luther West wearing the red ankle band. We're ready to go. Let's go. Seconds left, first period, scoreless. Third period, not at zero 
four to zero. Duvall's choice. No. 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 Palmer's choice. Palmer's going to go down. Duvall cuts him. Says, I don't know what's going to hit this. That makes our first point of the match. One to zero. In favor of Palmer. The red ankle band. White and black singlet. Guys on their feet. We didn't see much in the first minute in the first period. Legacy Christian, that is. Tex 
Bradley. Shot looking for a barrel. Yeah. And he gets it. He gets it. He's got two. Keeps that arm wisely. Makes it score two to one. Over at Beckley's and West Jefferson. Guy Alvarez is arm all the way across his gut. It looks like he's dead. He's coming at the elbow. See, Beckley? Tries to be hurt here. Nothing going. Can't get the flip. Forty seconds left in the second period. Scores two to one in favor of Keckley. Third place match, 170 pounds. And Keckley's getting close. Getting close at that church, 20 seconds. Alvarez gets out there for the time being. Oh, cross face. All right, two. Second, we're in the third period, 2-1, favoring Techley from West It's four to one. Minute thirty-nine left in the third period. Alvarez has a drag. underway. 
Third place match at 182 pounds in Division Three. State High School State Wrestling Tournament. Can. He transitions, he's getting near fall. I think he got two swipes. He's officially is holding two. These are the first points we've seen scored in the first period on this match. In all three third place matches. So it's four to zero for Lucas Stoddard of Berkshire. Off of an ankle pick, straight to some near falls. Third base, one and two, match one. Seconds left in the third period. 182 pounds. 
round third place match at the Ohio High School State Wrestling Tournament. Right now, Lucas Stoddard's leading eight to zero. 50 seconds left, third period.
30 seconds. 30 seconds remaining. Reaction time 
man who can say to you, who can say a lot of things. What he calls it, officially calls it. You know, wrestling's just gotta wrestle. Seconds left in the overtime bonus match. Knight got it locked up to the side. Blair again with the lateral attempt. These guys are fireworks when they get on the edge, but when we get in the middle, not much happens. Alright, 31 seconds. Trying to pummel in there. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, seven seconds. It's a good time to remind you. All these matches are brought to you by Barbarian Apparel, Talk of the Impossible, and Defense of the Future Built. Six seconds. One to zero. Let's go to some ride outs here. All right. I'll take more match. Flip the coin. Comes up red. There says I'll go down first. We got two right off here. Knight needs a trash can. Table. 
Seconds on the clock. Blair right to his feet. That's potentially dangerous. Right, you'll get away with that at least once. I don't know about the second time though. Get a stall in the end. It took three seconds off the clock though. Blair right to his feet. And out. Blair is your third. Place winner at 195 pounds, Cameron Blair, Sandy Valley. Winner in the ultimate ride out. Second to last match of these third place matches, we're at 220. This one's going to take place between Julian Griffith with Marion Pleasant and James. Klaus of Mohawk. Julian Griffith, Mary Pleasant in the all black. That makes James Klaus of Mohawk in the black with the red trim. Mohawk is going to be red. Mary Pleasant is going to be green. And James Klaus of Mohawk. seconds off the clock because it wasn't running like it should have been earlier.
got a stall warning, man. Alright, third period, 1-0 for Red. Cross for Mohawk, but he had just was born with five seconds left in the second period for stalling. So Griffith is gonna go bottom. Cross the mounts. Building up, building up. Right hands gets his one. We're not at that one piece. Should be a fun minute and 40 seconds. Students, move 
fingertips a little bit here. Trying to get to his feet. Goes big man roll. Big man roll. Gets it. Reversal. Brody Stevens with the big man roll. Minute 20 left, second period. Two to zero, in favor of Brody Stevens. Swanton, thanks to his big man roll. He did. Three near fall. That brings the score to five to zero with 50 seconds left. Brody Stevens out in front, five to zero. Second period, 50 seconds left in the second period. 285 pound weight class, Division Three, Ohio High School State Wrestling Championship. Above the elbow. Typically, got to be above the elbow to make that thing. Here. Fifteen seconds left. Second period. Five to zero for Brody Stevens. Swan. Gets one for stalling, that's Ruth, Ben Logan. So third period, scores five to zero. Green's choice. Green's gonna go bottom. Gonna go bottom. Two minutes, two minutes on the clock in the third period. Scores five to zero, Brody Stevens, Swanton. 285 pound weight class, third place match. his feet now, he's gonna get one. That makes this match five to one. Reminder, all these matches have been brought to you today by Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible, and defend so defend what you've built. All right, 30 seconds off the clock, minute 31 left, so 29 seconds, technically now 30 seconds. Minute 30, scores five to one, to Brody Stevens from Swan. Takedown. That extends the score to 7 1 as they go out of bounds and go back to the center. Bruce will be down. Taking a minute to himself. Stalling Green, that's one red. That makes the score 8 to 1. Got to get back to the center or you got to take injury time, one or the other. Other than that, other than the other option, Stalling. Score eight to two, one minute left, third period. Thirty seconds left. Third period scores eight to two. Cody Stevens a swan out in front. Stevens with a nice snap down. Jeez, geez. Gonna get another tier after this total, making it ten to two. Final. 
Ten to three for Brody Stevens of Swan. He's your third place finisher at 285 pounds in Division Three Ohio High School State Wrestling Championship.